Hi, I'm Marcia Hansen, the author of several books on faith and ethics, and I hope to be the author of many more. Today I'm starting a video blog as I weigh in on the questions of God and science that are of interest to so many of us now. Of course, the question, is God real, is of ultimate interest to all of us, whether we acknowledge that or not. But the debates going on in science and academia seem to have decided the question in favor of atheism. And I'm here to challenge those notions. Now, last night I was walking through my house with a load of laundry in one hand and this book in the other. This is Roger Penrose's The Road to Reality, a wonderful book. And Roger Penrose is, of course, one of the uh, geniuses of our time, I believe. My son-in-law said to me, gee, I wish the road to reality were a little shorter. Don't you have the pop-up version? So, you know, I'm not a scientist, and I have a very slender reputation, in fact, as a writer. But one of the things I learned in elementary school was to think for myself. I went to this little um, segregated school back in a town just north of Waco, where we didn't even have new books. We uh, went to school six weeks in and six weeks out during cotton growing season so that the children would be free to, to work in the fields if they were rural kids. So I'm not parading out any uh, long list of credentials for you. I'm just inviting you to do what my teacher, Mrs. Odessa Wyatt, who was an old lady at that time, taught me. And that was to think for myself. And that idea has served me well. And I hope that in our conversations together, as I do this video blog, you will understand that I believe that trust is one of the things that uh, you know intellectuals have to rely on, that we trust one another's words and um, findings, that we share our sources for our thinking, and that the things that we put out are put out in, a, in the most honest fashion possible. And so one of the first things I want to do is challenge the Oxford professor, Richard Dawkins, who is the author of this book that's been very popular, The God Delusion. You know, this is, uh, Richard Dawkins is one of the spokesmen, the leading spokesmen, the most recognized people in the uh, march to proclaim atheism as the way to go that scientific thinking inevitably leads to atheism. And on the back of this book here, The God Delusion, is a review by Steven Pinker from Harvard University. He says that if you think that science is just another religion, that religion is about our higher values, or that scientists are just as dogmatic as believers, then read this book and see if you can counter Dawkins' arguments. They are passionately stated and poetically expressed, but are rooted in reason and evidence. So, I'm expecting to read a book full of evidence here. And I had a moment that was what my friend Susan would call a 32 tooth sucker, meaning I'd go like this when I first began reading the book. And it didn't have to do so much with God and science as it did just kind of establishing some foundational ideas, uh, co-opting the thinking of great and respected people in the world, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and offering quotes for those from those people. As I read those quotes, I was thinking, that doesn't sound so familiar. Let me go back and see what Thomas Jefferson really said. So that's where I'd like to begin our conversation today, just on that basis. Like, I want to invite everybody in this conversation, no matter who you are reading, whether you're reading my books or anybody else's, if we're quoting somebody, or, uh, I think that you are intelligent enough to go to the source. But let me just uh, challenge Dr. Dawkins on a couple of things that have nothing to do, as I said, with God or science, but just with our, our thinking together.